latest project. These are axolotl eggs. I'm expecting them to hatch within the next week and a half. These are, well the parents of these ones were wild type and autistic. And we've got some in here as well. And the ones in here, parents were albino and golden albino. I don't know if you can see very well, but these ones are actually, babies are dark coloured. Whereas the albino babies are actually all white. And in here we have their food, the really odd Daphnia, kind of like water fleas. They're busy making it look really dirty, whereas actually it's just them laying hundreds and hundreds of eggs. Another time we just have a normal goldfish. In here is what I have to feed the Daphnia. Absolutely disgusting. There is bacteria. And this one over here seems a good shape at the moment. That is a yeast concoction. So basically, I put in yeast and warm water, and obviously, every time I need to use it, I mix it around. I get it out using a syringe, and normally, they need just a, you know, just a few drops really, every five days. They're very, very easy to overfeed and kill them off, which is quite irritating. For some reason, it's quite hard to collect Daphne at the moment. I think they just find a shop that sold them. Um, I'm expecting some fairy shrimp, hopefully soon. The seller is from Bangkok, so who knows how long that will take. So in here is just a small little breeding tank for them. They've got little hidey areas. It's a general piece of plastic piping there and then a metal bit. You can just come to hide in. Oh, and some fake plant just on the surface of the water for them to sort of swim in and hide in, which they quite like. Now, oh, and in this one here we've got some more of the Daphnia. So I keep two separate colonies just in case one crashes, so that way I've still got a backup until I can get to the shop to buy some more. Like, so they are very easy to kill. Now, um, I have is they're actually, it's actually a set of twins. So, I don't know if you can see it very well. There are actually two of them in there. So I'm keeping them separate. Because I am quite interested to see if they will both hatch. And if they're both growing at the same rate at the moment. They're both, it is looking like one is more one's more grown more than the other so but oh one of them is moving around it's quite interesting to see them move they are at that age now where they're sort of starting to wiggle about it's quite cute I hope maybe if we're lucky we might see some of these ones swim around a little bit these ones are the most active at the moment for some reason, they're probably going to be lazy now they're being recorded. So, 